Hey guys, Panther0822 here. It is Din Time with the Panther. I hope everybody's having a uh, Hope everybody is having a, uh, a fantastic Thursday, although I think at this point, oh no, it's still Thursday, for another 10 or so minutes. So, anyways, let's get this shared out and then we'll get started. Will Facebook actually get shit straight this time, or will it be incorrect? That is the question. Nope. Still getting shit wrong. There we go. Kind of share this to a few places on Facebook and then we'll uh, get started. So, Anna Grew. My favorite thing. Group I manage. Actually, you know what? I think we will post it in there. And then I think we'll post it in one other place, and then I think we'll get started. Although I am feeling a little peckish. Welcome, welcome everybody. It is Den Time with the Panther. Nightly vlog and Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, as long as they're relevant and appropriate, I have no issues answering those questions. Otherwise, just keep them to yourself. Hate to be rude or blunt about it, but unfortunately I've gotten a few questions that were um, highly inappropriate or unwelcome. And so, yeah, I, I don't like having to give that type of disclaimer, but... It is what it is. So, anyways, welcome, guys. So, a couple th housekeeping things here real fast. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that follow button up top along with the heart icon because I stream uh, vlogs seven days a week and I do gameplay at least six days a week and you don't want to miss out. There's also a donation link down below, so if you guys are looking for ways to support the channel. And then th the last thing is actually something that somebody suggested and that was to add a panel that talks about the equipment that I use uh, in order to do my um, and to do this and so I've actually gone through and created a panel so you guys can actually uh, see the type of stuff that I'm using so that uh, So that you guys can actually um, take a look. So oh, is there a limit? There is a limit. Okay.
Alright. Gonna save changes there. Changes saved. Fantastic. And then reload the page here real fast just to make sure that that change actually took place. And it's there so that makes me happy all right guys so overall today has actually been a, uh, a pretty productive day can't really complain that much um, I did was not able to play as long as I had wanted when it comes came to the Star Wars um, I had a friend my friend Mike um, who's up in a hospital in Denver right now um, I went and hung with him for a little bit and talked with uh, his wife, who's also a good friend, and about just kind of things and what's been going on and things like that because we haven't seen each other in quite some time. So overall, today's been kind of... Um, overall, it's been a really good day. It was, it, was, it was really, really good to see our friend Mike. A little rough because he's, he's in a lot of pain right now. He's on some pretty serious meds and we're just we're still praying for him we're hoping we're, we're we're praying for the best it looks like he's moderately out of the woods for the most part um we were hoping he would be coming home monday but it looks like his pain levels are still a little too high so looks like um the day that he's coming home has been postponed a little bit which is unfortunately a little bit sad but anyways it is again it is what it is I, I mean when it comes to a really serious illness like cancer um, cancer just it wrecks the body in a lot of different ways it affects a lot of different systems it messes the body up and it's just it's it's really tough to watch a person go through it because there's really not much you can do other than just kind of be there to support them when they need that support but other than that there's really not much else and it's just just a bit disappointing that um, there's really not much that that we can do in order to to help him, and it's just just, just kind of sad um, because in, in a lot of ways, serious diseases like cancer uh, makes us face our mortality, which is something that. Um, Let's face it, as humans, we're not great at facing facing one's own mortality is is a very difficult thing to do, um, and I mean it, it kind of puts things in perspective. And it's one of the reasons why I respect our, our military so much is because they live with that reality every day that they may not come home, and it's. I have a tremendous amount of respect for our military and what they do for us. I don't always agree with our commander-in-chief, but I do support our troops. So, because um, our troops is what allow our, our military is what allows us to have the freedoms that we have and allows us to have the lifestyle that we have. So it's important to understand and, and be thankful for the things that we do have, even though we may not always agree with some of those decisions that are being made. Um, it's just important to, um, it's just important to, to be thankful for the things that, that we have, so. Uh, the wife had rehearsal tonight, and Inigo was pissed. Um, evidently, there's some more crap that's going down and things like that, and it's just 
not good. I, uh, I gotta be honest, I don't have a lot of high hopes for the show. Um, from hearing what I have from, uh, from Indigo, um, things, things could be better. And, yeah, so... On the upside, a good the, the same friend uh, that took me up to see our uh, our buddy Mike, um, she uh, she has a basically a theater company and um, a th or a theatrical troupe, and it um, and she's honestly she's been running it for quite some time, but anyways she was talking to the wife about a a role. Um, that the wife might, she was wanting to know if my wife might be interested in a particular role. So, um, so far from what I've understood so far from their conversation that I was there for is the wife thought it was, it would be interesting. Um, and she didn't shoot it down. So I'm going to take that as I think she's seriously thinking about it, which I hope she does. Um. Because it would allow the wife to act and sing and do what she loves, and I, I think it would be, I think it would be good. So, um, so yeah. As far as my MS goes, the last couple, of, the last two days specifically have not been terribly great. My right leg has been trembling a little bit more than than normal, which is actually a bit aggravating um, when my right leg trembles. Or tremors. Um, unfortunately, it potentially creates a serious balance issue, which is why I walk with a cane. Um, I wish the cane was purely an aesthetic, but unfortunately for me, it's not. Uh, it's just a bit frustrating. And also the fact that the Jelenia that I have, I have one more dose for tomorrow, and then I will be out until I can see a new neurologist and can get the med put back in because right now the place that uh is holding the prescription for that will not refill it right now until they get a new um basically a, a new script from my new neurologist and i'm waiting for a, a referral as far as a neurologist goes so that could be Anywhere from a month or two from now to several months, um, depending on on some variables and things like that. So that's actually a little scary and a little bit frustrating because me off the Jelenia is not a good thing for a, for actually several different reasons. Um, but one of the main ones is that Jelenia actually does in its own way. It suppresses my immune system, so it makes it so I can function. But it also, in some ways, makes it so that I can focus where my spaciness is not nearly as bad. Because when I'm not on the Jelenia, my spaciness goes to a whole different level altogether. And it's a bit frustrating and annoying to try and do things without the Jelenia because it's no longer dealing with my MS, which means the MS has a window of opportunity to wreak havoc with my system, which is not a good thing, not even remotely. Um, the damage that's done by MS is permanent damage. It is not damage that can be, um, it's not fixable damage, it sucks. So whatever damage is there is there and I have to deal with those consequences. And it's really, really frustrating. So um, Monday, I'm going to be calling uh, the doctor's office that holds my um, where my primary care doctor is, and harassing them and being like, "Hey, do you have that referral yet? Because I'm going to be off the Jelenia unless you guys can prescribe it for me, and I'll give you the phone number that you need to call or um, get me into a, a neurologist pronto." I'm going to be without it for for a while, and that's a very, 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 very huge issue and very concerning. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's that, basically. Um, I 
I'm just, I'm, I'm concerned because without it, it just, it allows the MS to wreak havoc on my system. So, um, upside is uh, the wife and I are looking into getting me into martial arts and the wife actually surprised me because she wants to do it with me, which I think is fantastic. Um, she wants to do it for two reasons. One reason is it'll help her as far as fitness goes, which is always a good thing. Um, but the second reason is she wants to do it with me so that she can be there so that if I need her and I need support, she can be there for me, which I also think is fantastic. So um, martial arts in and of itself has a lot of benefits by themselves. Um, I wanted to do the martial arts because I have an affinity for the martial arts but to a lot of the muscle groups and things like that that martial artists use or a lot of the gross fine motor muscles especially in stabilization when it comes to your legs and things like that so I want to be doing the martial arts to be helping with my muscle uh, strengthening and retention so that um, I can just overall be in a better fitness place is why I really want to do it so It is a bit of an investment, though, because we'll, um, we will need to get sparring gear because we're, we, the sparring gear that we did have didn't make it, which is really disappointing. Um, and, um, and a few other things and things like that. Well, monthly tuition is 125 so that's not too terribly bad. Um, pretty affordable and uh, and yeah so anyways I'm a bit tired I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this here I might do a stream but if I do I'll probably leave the webcam out of it um, the mic will be on and whatnot but the the sorry the web the, the mic will be on but the webcam probably won't be because again I'm kind of tired and out of it and whatnot so anyways um let me get uh, I've, again i've got i've got the uh the suggestion box down below so uh in that box if you guys are liking me re re playing the reruns and letting that kind of run when i'm not streaming and things like that let me know if uh if you guys are liking that not liking that if you guys would like me to change something about it um there's really not much that i can do as far as change goes other than i can change what's in the playlist so if there's a particular game that I've that I've played in the past that you guys would like to see in that playlist, um, let me know. Throw it in the suggestion box down there so I can uh, so I can take a look and then um, make changes uh, as uh, as needed. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and kill it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's always appreciated. And like I said at the beginning, if you're new, don't forget that follow button up top along with the heart icon. Because I, uh, again, I do vlog seven days a week and I do gameplay at least six days a week. Oh, we should probably go over the rest of the week. Uh, so tomorrow and or AK today, depending on what time it is, it's after midnight. So it's officially Friday. So um, as it's officially Friday, um, we'll be playing The Witcher today. Saturday will be Star Trek. And Sunday, I, I have no idea. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Is this Sunday... This Sunday is actually the collab. That's right. Oh, okay. So um, this Sunday, starting at noon, we're doing a collab. So if you have not already sent me your Steam information, please send it to me. Uh, so please send me a friend request on Steam Panther Zero Eight Two Two. Um, you'll see the kind of the stock photo I use for everything. It's me and my Spider Man. Um, so we're doing that collab, and it is this upcoming Sunday, starting at noon is um is that collab so look forward to that you guys are always welcome to join especially when it's when we're intentionally doing a a collab aimed for you guys to join us so um the wife and i are looking at getting a steam gift card and we're looking at getting a few additional games we haven't made a hundred percent decision on that yet um, we do have to look at the finances and see if it is something that we can actually put into the budget because I don't know if it is but if we can we'll gain um, we'll look at gaining another game or two and we're looking we're trying to find some definite collab stuff 
um their uh slay the spire is in pre-release it's either in pre-release right now or it's in open alpha um i don't remember which one it is or it may be just be early access but that one is a multiplayer and we saw jacksepticeye play it really actually got a lot of interest because um the game looks like it's based off or has similar aspects to magic of the gathering and or um hearthstone so it looks really cool it looks like a lot of fun and we definitely want to get the game and from what i remember it does actually have a a two at least a two-player option um so we're gonna look at that so anyways again thank you guys so much for watching like i said if you're new don't forget that follow button up top um if you're looking for other ways to support the channel there's a suggestion box and a donation link down below and then if you guys are curious about the setup that I'm using as far as the microphone or the computer uh, and the graphics card and things like that, I've got a uh, I've got something down there that actually tells you guys what I'm using so that um, if you guys are looking to start your own thing, um, you, you at least know what I'm using and can use that as, as a reference. So... Um, I had to add the graphics card though, so the graphics card is an independent purchase and if you do any gaming at all especially heavier end gaming you're gonna want that graphics card we are actually looking at investing about eight hundred dollars or more into a gaming specific desktop for me um it's actually designed for gaming because the computer i'm using right now is not designed for gaming it works it does the job and if you're on a budget it's a good way to start but it's not designed specifically for gaming so but it does work because of of the specs and things like that so anyways i keep finding ways to to continue so anyways i'm gonna kill it really i promise um i'll see you guys uh here in a minute or two when i start up then something or and or i may go to bed i'm not sure yet um but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'm Panther022. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next time.